The Terra Luna Classic community is a very interesting, very, very interesting community. We're going to talk news about what's going on with Luna Classic. We're going to look at the price action just a little bit. And uh, we're going to check in with Station, see if there's any proposals up, and try to figure out what's going on on Luna Classic for the day. In the coming weeks, days, months, I don't know, I'll be getting more involved with some of the creators that are building on the Luna Classic chain, and we'll start to talk to them. And if you like this type of content, make sure that you like, comment, share this with everybody, subscribe to the content, do, you know, do whatever, uh, hit the bell, etc., etc., etc. Now, we're going to kick this off with the first piece of news, and um, let's get after it. So happy to announce that Weeks Terra Classic community did excellent performance in the past seven days. Uh, 200,000 in engagement, 17,000 people viewed the community, 15,000 plus people traded Luna Classic on Weeks, and then $5,000 unlocked trading bonus on Futures Pro. So it was a good week for Luna Classic. Now has another partner that's burning. So those are important until we get a repeg. We need to have something like that. Also, no new information on Duquan Terraform Labs. Everything seems to be idle. And the same thing for the price action. There doesn't seem to be uh, too much going on in the news that would cause us to panic or wonder what's going on. So, you know, I think basically we're heads under the radar, if you will, and we're in a good position. And there's no real communication uh, in the C Commonwealth Forum at this point. So it seems like there's no ideas for proposals and stuff like that that might be popping up at any time. So now let's check out the price action and let's see what's going on and what can we expect going forward. Now, uh, again, if you like this content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, bell to be notified. All right, guys, as you can see right here, we've been uh, f following this upward, train, upward trend, if you will, uh, all the way up now here we are today bouncing through that range and it looks like buying it immediately back up this is a one day chart if i come down to the lower time frames you'll see the same thing we've just kind of wicked off of it as the market dipped and came down pretty significant for the day uh, as the fomc in the united states prepares itself the market are a little bit weird at this point so uh bouncing off of this range of course each time uh, every single time we've done this, we've it's resulted in a big move. Now, if you grant that this right here seems to be the positioning that we're in at this moment, it's going to take a breakout above that move right there. So expect to see maybe some volatility. And over the next bunch of days, we get up into this 24, 25, uh, 3 zeros, 25 range as our next potential move uh, at some point very soon. So I would be looking for that to be a tightening of the channel. And then, of course, it come down for a correction and then a potential test for a breakout. Now, if we get the breakout early, then that changes everything. But until we get that breakout, then, you know, we're just waiting uh, to see you know, what the pattern is. Again, as long as we're on this little trend right here, we're going to be in great position by the end of this year. Uh, even having a nice little parabolic sort of blow off, getting to two zeros one. Uh, about a 10x from where we are right now, which is, you know, for you, it might not be significant, but it is significant for this chain. So, uh, you know, let's see what happens uh, shortly. USTC uh, broke down back to its support level, uh, not the parabolic trend line that we had going right here. We've broken through that. Again, I just don't have a, you know, we don't have a real fundamental pump thing going on with USTC. So when we do, then that'll change things dramatic. As far as station goes, there's no governance proposals, nothing sitting out here waiting that needs approval or anything like that. Uh, for the volume, we're up a little bit on volume, 71%, which is nice, but most of it's sell pressure uh, because we're down about 12% in market cap. Same thing over here. You know, we had a nice little increase in, in volume, but it was the selling pressure that was happening, uh, increasing the flow, and then we're down 11% because of that. So that's your update for Luna Classic for the day. Again, we're going to be looking to dig into the market. Cryptonomy.finance just launched a research section, so make sure that you go check that out today. Learn a little bit more about crypto that you may not have known before. If you are a corporate client, you can have a relationship manager uh, and a lot of customer support, superior OTC services, and institutional tools that will help you in your venture. Also, if you sign up for the VIP course, you can get in touch with high touch wealth management personnel and a lot of different people and personalized information as you need in order to successfully navigate this crypto. Also, if you look at my moves right now, you can see 
that I'm earning over 106 Solana on my last staking. My Tether, I'm going to earn 1,670 on my staking so far. Uh, you can see there's some of these have, I've earned $784. I can't cash out for a while, but uh, I've earned 784 so far. And then in the launch pool, guys, if you haven't checked the launch pool out, you've got to check the launch pool. Look at these ROIs that I'm getting right now. It's fantastic. Uh, 20 X on K9 Finance, 7X on Weave, on Block Jerk. Uh, if, you get, if you put a stake into this system right here, it gives you a fantastic amount of rewards. Go check this out to figure out a few things in the Luna Classic communities over the next bunch of days. So if you like that kind of uh, content, uh, like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment down below and hit the bell to be notified. And uh, we'll talk to you again very, very soon.